Hi Pisces and welcome to your tarot love readings. We're going to take a look at the messages that are coming in for you in relation to love and romance. As always guys, these messages are general so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So um, the reading here is intended for Pisces Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and to those across watching as well. Let's give the cards a shuffle and see what messages are coming in for you. Swords, the Hierophant, the Eight of Wands in Reverse, and the Five of Swords here. All right, Pisces. Um, let's see what's going on here. If the King of Pentacles here, Pisces, represents a person in your life, he or she is. Um, he or she takes love very seriously is what I'm seeing, okay? If, so, if there's a connecting energy around you, someone whom you're romantically interested in, this is someone who um, is a slow burning energy here, but I feel like this person needs to take, uh, they need to understand, um, you know, what is truly happening between you um, before they take any steps here. And if the King of Pentacles doesn't necessarily represent a person in your life, it can suggest that, um, you know, this can suggest a time um, with regards to your relationship, which is secure and stable. So, and for those of you that are single, um, it can indicate that there, um, for a lot of you, I feel like there is someone, like a great partner coming in your way, coming your way here, someone who's going to be very demonstrative of their love through their actions rather than their words here. Um, it also tells me that the two of you here are going to be very comfortable with each other emotionally, materially, financially, um, physically as well. Okay, with the Seven of Pentacles, your energy here, Pisces. Um, a strong sense of, uh, like, it's an emotionally scattered energy is what I'm seeing. Um, some of you are harboring unrealistic expectations. I feel like there is a connecting energy around you whom you... The two of you aren't necessarily talking, but I feel like you wish for things to be different here. Um, I feel like maybe this person has blocked your energy. If not physically, then I feel like maybe emotionally or like on a mental level here. Or if they aren't the ones that have blocked you, Pisces, then you're the one that's blocking them. And you're the one that's somehow, I feel like I'm sensing emotional blockages here. And I feel like it's preventing this person from reaching out to you, from communicating um, with you as well. I'm also seeing that some of you, I feel like you're drowning here in um, in illusion, in fantasy, in wishful thinking, in indecision here as well. Some of you, I feel like the message is you need to stop fantasizing about something and actually look at the reality of it, because the the you know the fantasy version of this person or of this situation he is very different it appears very different from the actual reality your fantasy um your perception of this has altered the reality of this person or the situation here as well some of you i feel like you're going to have to make some sort of choice or you need to you'll be presented with some sort of choice or decision making and i feel like you have options you have you can choose this you can choose that you can choose the other here but I feel like for you you really need to evaluate what are going what are going to be the pros and the cons of you choosing this that or the other here um, some of you I feel like there is an energy around you here Pisces whom I don't feel like this person wants the best intentions for you but I see them sort of masquerading okay and I say this because notice with the seven of cups um, it's important to exercise caution around this person is all I'm saying or this particular situation perhaps because uh, what I'm getting here is you know some of these cups bear really desirable gifts you know they show us wonders and treasures that could be available to you but the other cups here have monsters and shadows here 
So just be very careful because I feel like there is a connecting energy around you here who is, this person isn't what they say they are, or this situation isn't what it seems. It's glistening with promise, but I wonder if it's empty promises here, Pisces. Um, I'm also getting the message for some of you, be careful, because I feel like maybe you're rushing into some sort of situation. Um, it feels like it's more lust than love, and some of you, I feel like, are getting overwhelmed with this um, emotional frequency and you could be rushing through the situation and therefore not actually seeing any red flag indicators along the way now with the two of swords whoever this person is it feels like a uh, strong air energy in um gemini libra and aquarius they may have air air energy in their placement i'm also picking up strong water energy a cancer in particular here um, could be pisces scorpio but cancer is coming through here this person isn't communicating with you and i feel like some of you are trying to I feel like there is unrealistic expectation surrounding this person or surrounding this situation, this romantic situation. I don't feel this person isn't communicating with you. Either this per this is someone who's blocked you, perhaps this is someone who's ghosted you. You want closure, right? I can see that some of you are wanting closure around this person. Or I feel like maybe you want this person to reach out and communicate with you because you're seeking some sort of validation or some sort of confirmation. They're not ready to communicate just yet, okay? Um... I don't know what's exactly happened between the two of you. In fact, I don't think much has happened between the two of you. But I, I, I can see from their energy, I feel like it's a blocked energy. And again, I don't know if this blockage is coming from you here, Pisces. I don't know if there's something going on internally or emotionally. You need to do some purging, some cleansing here. But I can see that this person is not yet going to reach out or communicate with you, okay? It's best that you probably don't reach out to this person either because I feel like yeah, they may respond, but to be honest with you, I don't feel like they're going to say much because I'm seeing this blockages here. Again, I'm getting the whole notion of crossroads. Some of you are really going to have to make a choice and stick to it. You're going to have to keep a commitment to your commitment. So make a choice and stick with it. Don't falter, don't waver here. Um, really own and trust your decisions here. The Hierophant also sort of echoes that, you know, the, uh, the whole notion of committing. Some of you, I feel like you either keep going back and forth about a situation or about a particular person, and it's like you can't necessarily make up your mind up. Um, you can't necessarily make your mind up about this person or about this situation. Um, and some of you, I feel like, and again, I feel like I'm going to tie this in with you having to make some sort of choice or decision regarding this person or regarding this situation here. Um, Choose wisely. Really evaluate your decisions. Really choose wisely because I can see you have options and I can see you have different alternatives here. The Hierophant could also indicate, um, I feel like for some of you there may be someone new coming in who I feel like is um, is going to show you, is going to display a lot of commitment. I'm seeing a lot of tradition conformity around this person as well. Some of you Pisces here, you're more drawn to uh, choosing partners that are safe, traditional and respected here. Safe, traditional and respected. Um, or, or is it the other way around and some of you Pisceans need to avoid partners that are considered like taboo here or, you know, um, unsafe, aren't traditional here, whether religious or spiritual and aren't really respected uh, or at least by the community. Okay, the Eight of Wands in reverse, I, I feel like some of you are hopeful for some sort of communication or you're hopeful to progress some sort of romantic situation. It's not happening just yet here, Pisces. Um, I'm also seeing some of you are resisting some sort of change here. Um, now, there is no growth um, that happens within the comfort zone and some of you, I'm seeing your there's this resistance to change, which is why I feel Pisces and which is why I feel said earlier that I feel like maybe it's you that like you know this person that I feel like you're hoping to hear from or you're hoping to reconnect or reconcile something with um maybe you're the one that's blocking 
um, them on an emotional level level there's some sort of emotional blockages it could be from them but I feel like it could just as well be from you here um, some of you really need to slow down some of you need to slow down because you're rushing through your you're rushing through some sort of romantic situation or you're rushing to get to the end of something here and you're not necessarily enjoying the journey and also because of this state of urgency I don't know why it's like you want to connect with this person or you want to have that conversation with this person you want to clear something with this person or you want to get this relationship going or you, you know you want to label it you want to make it exclusive you are much more in if you continue to stay in that energy field if you continue to stay in that energy um zone you're much more prone to making poor decisions or even making mistakes so slow down Pisces it'll happen when it will happen it might not happen in your timeline um, but it will happen when the universe you know allows for it so um, be careful uh, sorry uh, slow down here um, speaking of being careful be careful because there is something like there's like a shiny object I'm gonna put it this way there's a shiny object the bright shiny object syndrome is um, is what comes to mind here and I feel like there's someone around you and this person looks really charming and you know very attractive and very appealing or this thing looks very charming very attractive and very appealing but there's so much more to it with the five of swords here there's so much more to it um, and I don't feel like this person or this thing is what it appears to be so be careful I'm gonna dub it the shiny object syndrome be careful of how things appear because sometimes things you know look good the the potential of something and the, the potential of someone looks really good um from a distance but then up close you know the actual reality of, of it tells us a different story so be careful to not get sucked into some sort of situation here um or to be sort of deceived by um emotionally manipulated emotionally deceived here by a certain person here because i feel like they don't have the best intentions for you or i feel like this person isn't necessarily let me tell you, I don't feel like this person is going to meet your needs and desires here. Okay? And if you don't slow down, I warn you, Pisces, you could potentially end up um, making mistakes or you could be prone to making hasty decisions here. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you. I just want to thank you all for watching and listening. Please show your support um, by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing, commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Thanks, guys, again. Bye for now.